today I'm at the same place to do some rolls and hopefully I'll be able to do a few new ones today. Let's see how I feel. It's just been too long and I don't feel confident whatsoever. That's a really good confidence boost that I could do the roll. I'll do one more and then start practicing other ones. Okay, I'm very happy that feels really natural. Now for me to do the one hand, I don't know if I can do it honestly. But I've been watching This Is The Roll during the storm and the typhoon, so I'm hoping that theoretically I got it correct, but actually doing it is a completely different thing. So I went back to the standard roll because actually it's really hard to hold on to the paddle like this. I know this roll is more of a finesse roll so you can't use power, you're using your body and rotating. Okay, it just feels so nice to be in the water again. I feel revived. I'm like living again. So what I'm trying to do right now is that one, using that one hand, the one hand roll. And it's a lot harder than it seems because when you're in the water, you're trying to support a lot of your weight on that one hand when you're grabbing onto the paddle. It looks a lot easier when other people do it. And that's probably because they're using their body more so than the arm which I am trying to do and using brute force. I want to see if I can do any of the forward finishing. I know I'm jumping around with different rolls, but I kind of just wanted to try and see how it felt, knowing that I won't be able to do it, but you know, I just wanted to get that feeling. So in the middle of practice, I realized the back hatch came off. I didn't lock it properly. So I was busy trying to fix that, get the water out. I realized my snorkeling goggles are in the water. Okay, you know what? Instead of trying to do all these other types of rolls, I'm gonna do the standard roll on the other side. Now I feel like it's gonna be really weird because I'm gonna be doing everything in reverse. I have to say rolling on the other side is very confusing very very confusing I feel like most people have one strong side okay I need to get out and rest because I'm getting really bad motion sickness I think I need to eat something to fill my stomach up so I don't feel as sick but this rolling journey as much as I want to continue I kind of want to give up too but there's no such thing as giving up. Gotta keep going. After getting some motion sickness, I decided not to roll anymore because I wasn't feeling any better. And I think it's because I haven't kayaked for quite a while. Or well, maybe that's just an excuse, I don't know. But now I'm just gonna go around this area and just enjoy the scenery because it's just so gorgeous. The water is very blue today and it's just so clear and clean. If you guys have been following my other videos, I've been here many, many times and it's the bottom of the reservoir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just around the corner. Yeah, I just came around and then go back. No, no license needed, no. But it's best to do the course. Yeah, it's good to learn. No, not there. I did it at uh, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, it's good to do a course. There were some curious hikers there as well asking where I can rent a kayak around here but as far as I know you can't rent kayaks around this area 
You could only bring your own. Luckily, I have my Pacquiac. Overall, not a bad day today. Did some rolling and got to see a really, really beautiful reservoir. All the waterfall from a reservoir. So, catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye.